We've been on a lot of trips and flights in the last few years, and whether we've gone away for a weekend or for a month, we've never checked a bag. It's only been carry-on for us. So in this video, we're going to share a few of our favorite tips and ideas for packing carry-on. We'll also share what to think about when you're choosing a carry-on bag and what our latest go-to carry-on is. Also, since we've been taking our work with us more and more these days, we're gonna share some essentials to keep in mind if you're thinking about working on the road. So why do we think carry-on is the best way to travel? Convenient. Combined with online check-in, when you travel carry-on only, it means you really just have to navigate security when you arrive at the airport. And when you land, you're out the door and halfway to your hotel by the time some people are just grabbing their bags off the carousel. Also, with your luggage always at hand, you never have to worry about landing at your destination only to discover that your luggage is in a totally different country. Of course, if you're going to travel with only carry-on, then choosing the right bag becomes critical. For us, that bag is the Level 8 Roadrunner Carry-On, who are actually sponsoring this video. The Level 8 Roadrunner is a stylish hard shell spinner suitcase that suits our needs perfectly. It's made from a super durable yet lightweight material that can withstand the rigors of travel. The 360 degree spinner wheels are smooth as butter. It has plenty of internal space at 38 liters, enough to pack all your gear whether going away for a week or for a month. It also has a TSA approved combination lock and this beautiful pocket for packing all your working on the road essentials. So tip number one, only pack things that you know work together. It's tempting to fill your suitcase with fun new items whenever you're packing for a trip, but it's easy to forget that sometimes travel can be uncomfortable and you don't always feel your best. So if you pack things that you know work together, you'll have clothes you know you'll feel amazing in, and your suitcase planning is easier. Another great tip is to try everything on before you pack it. This way, if you do happen to have something a little bit new, you have an opportunity to make sure it works with everything and pull things out you know you won't reach for. The next tip is to pack neutral colors. This way you have lots of things for mixing and matching and you know they're all going to go together. One thing I always try and do is pack the lightest and easiest to roll fabrics I can. So things like cotton or linen are great options. Okay, so next tip, really consider whether you need more than one pair of jeans. Jeans are heavy and they take up tons of space. So if you can get by with only one, and you probably can, just bring your favorite pair. In terms of like over layers and things to keep you warm, bring one sweater that you know is going to work with multiple outfits, and probably something easy to pack and fold. Another of my favorite tips is to bring one pair of comfies or pajamas. Don't skip this one. It's nice to have something really, really cozy to crawl into after a long day of exploring. Another thing to use at a hotel or apartment, wherever you're staying, is hair dryers. Again, it might not be perfect, but it will work. I do, however, always pack a flat iron because I find that that one is pretty easy to pack. If you use a purse or handbag, limit the number that you bring with you. I use one larger bag as my main one and carry this with me on the plane as a personal item and then pick one small or easily foldable second option. And go light when you're packing skincare or makeup. Only bring your favorites or better yet, use samples. For me, I always bring samples of moisturizer and face wash when I travel, or if I don't have them, I'll just use water to wash my face and bring sunscreen and a few basic makeup items. Honestly, you'll be fine without everything else. Bring the lightest footwear possible and pack two to three pairs maximum. For me, I like to bring a pair of runners so that I can walk around, something I might consider a little dressier, so sandals if I'm somewhere hot, and then if I'm going to the beach, I definitely bring a pair of flip flops. Also consider using packing cubes, especially if you have a soft sided bag, they're an excellent way to keep things organized and compressed. And remember, you can use hotel shampoo and conditioner. It might not be perfect, but it will do the job well enough while you're away. And remember, you can always do laundry. So pack Tide Packs for sink laundry. It's actually pretty fun, or better yet, find a laundromat in a destination. It's a great way to spend a day living a little bit more like a local, and honestly, some of our favorite memories have been doing exactly that. Here's some other quick and easy things to remember. Roll your clothes in your bag, especially if you have a hard shell case. And remember, you can always re-wear your outfits. Another tip is to select your travel outfit wisely. So wear your heaviest shoes and wear clothes that you can repurpose. So for me, I always travel in leggings, which become my comfies for the trip. I'll wear a sweater that I can wear multiple times, a shirt that I can repurpose, and then my jacket is the jacket and the rain jacket that I'm going to wear. Okay, now it's time to talk about the essentials you need for working on the road. We've been doing more and more of that recently. This is what we take with us. First thing, of course, 
a laptop. And what's great about this bag is it has a laptop pocket with lots of room. We like to take a laptop stand with us so we can prop it up while we're working long hours. And of course, in doing so, you'll also need a keyboard, wireless keyboard, and a mouse or a trackpad, depending on your preferences. Don't forget your charger, of course, your laptop charger. That would be a mistake. We love these little external hard drives. See, these are SSD drives, it's about the size of a credit card. Samsung T7, beautiful, perfect for gathering all your videos and photos that you're taking on your trip. You should also think about bringing a power bank. This is great for recharging your phone, of course, but many of your other electronic devices too. I love these. Another thing you should consider are noise-canceling Bluetooth headphones. These ones are fantastic. It's great for when you're working in a public space or on the airplane. There's not enough room in the pocket, but I'll put them in the main compartment later. All right, let's lock this up. You just zip it up, lock it, that TSA-approved lock, nice and safe. We hope these packing tips will help you stay organized, comfortable, and productive while on the go. And if you're in the market for a new carry-on bag, don't forget to check out our discount code for the Level 8 Rover Runner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.